Mm. Yep, it's working. <laughs> To it. Hi, my name is Tabitha Owanda and you're watching Into STEM. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in listening to different perspectives from students, professors or even professionals in science, tech, engineering and math. If you're a STEM student like myself and you're interested in learning about the different opportunities that are open to you such as scholarships and internships and research opportunities, then this is definitely the channel for you. If you are interested in discovering some of the amazing STEM initiatives that are taking place in Africa for Africans by Africans, uh, then this is a channel to subscribe to, definitely. Okay, so today's video is gonna be pretty interesting because it's something I really need to. A few months ago, I was trying to find a school to advance my programming skills beyond the Python that I already knew from first year. And these came up on my radar. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I choose to go with Moringa School, mostly because it was the most accessible to me and I had had good reviews from some of my friends who attended the same institution. But Moringa isn't the only place you can study programming in Nairobi. There's a bunch of other places to go to and that's what I'm going to highlight in my video. So the first school I'm going to talk about is Moringa School. It's located on Gong Lane, which is along Gong Road. And it offers two different programs. The first is the Software Development Program, which has a prep program that is mostly front-end skills and it's five weeks intro to programming and then they have their core program which lasts for 15 weeks in core you can choose between full stack web development or mobile development and then um, in the last three weeks of the total 15 they have a lot of group projects and professional development so that the developers are growing in an all-rounded kind of way they're not just learning coding skills, but they're learning how to be uh, better people for the workplace, as freelancers, or whatever else they want to be professionally. Their data science course is kind of similar. It has five weeks of prep, especially if you're new to data science and you've never tried it before, you'll start with prep. And then you'll do core for 15 weeks. Uh, of course, having the last three weeks as professional development and group projects and the like. Um, by the end of the 15 weeks of data science, you should be able to visualize and analyze data, um, model data, and also use the insights from your data to solve complex business problems. So I think Moringa is definitely one of the schools where you get value for money. Um, I was there for the prep uh, program and I learned a lot. I think the most important takeaway from Moringa is you learn how to learn. You learn that anything is possible if you're determined and um, hardworking enough. The next school I want to talk about is Immobilis. I think Immobilis is tailored to developers who wish to build software for mobile handsets. They've got a couple of programs and a lot of information, but I'll just list the programs down and then have it on the screen so that you can see the price of the program and the duration of time it takes. So the first is the MIT course, which teaches you how to build content and software for mobile handsets. They have an Android course and a Python course, and they also have a USSD course, which is a specialized course that teaches the user how to make specialized um, USSD based applications. Um, they have the HTML5 course, which is of course for front-end developers. They have an Oracle course, which teaches you how to be an Oracle database administrator. And then they have their cybersecurity uh, course, which I think is pretty interesting. Um, the cybersecurity course teaches you how to handle, uh, <laughs> of course, um, security on all the major platforms, which is Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. So Immobilis is definitely a school to check out, especially if you're interested in building software for mobile applications. 
The next institute I'm going to talk about is Zalego. It's located in West Lands, Nairobi. And I'm going to talk about their programs in terms of the skills that they offer because on their website, that's how they're listed. Um, they offer basic skills um, and under that they have ICDL training. Um, ICDL is International Computer Driving License and I think it's like the first step um, people interested in tech should actually take. They also offer standard skills like Android development, web design and development, SMS application, USSD application, um, and Python. That's what they have listed under their standard skills. They also offer advanced skills like Cisco, Oracle databases, um, c -sharp development, information security and ethical hacking, gaming and robotics. And they also have a data science program. The next place I'm going to talk about is Akira Chicks. Akira Chicks is a non-profit organization that seeks to increase the quality and number of women in the tech space in Africa, I would say. Uh, so as far as programming goes, they have the Code Hive program, which is a year-long program open to women between the ages of 19 and 24. This program is taught by industry professionals and there are so many skills offered, but I just want to highlight a few. Um, they offer front-end development, they offer mobile development, um, hardware and product design, and of course, professional development. The other skills that they offer are listed on this side of the screen, so it should be easy for you to follow. But I definitely recommend Akira Chicks for women in tech because of the ecosystem it provides. It goes beyond the skills to providing a community that you can interact with and be mentored by as you mentor other people coming after you. So Akira Chicks is definitely one to check out. So the next place I'm going to talk about is Kamelimo. So if you're a student who's already pursuing a tech related degree in Kenya, I would advise you to apply to Kamilimo because their program teaches you how to use your ICT skills to solve the socioeconomic problems that exist in your community and beyond. So um, in addition to this, the program gives students exposure to using GitHub, Python, um, the students get to interact with machine learning and cybersecurity. Uh, there's a huge emphasis on mentorship which is very obvious by the fact that their founder, Dr. Chow, um, is in a lot of meetups that I look up. Uh, so she's talking about tech, talking about um, innovative practices to use. I, I just think she's a very forward looking woman. And so anything that is under her docket is definitely pointing in the same direction of being innovative and um, forward looking. So as usual, I have bonus features at the end of each review and this video is no different. The bonus feature or the bonus institution in this uh, video is iLab. iLab is the ICT Innovation and Development Center at Strathmore University. And as much as Strathmore already has its own computer science courses um, where students learn programming, this is more for outsiders. So iLab offers academic certificates every now and then and if you're keen and you check their website frequently you'll be able to see what they're offering at specific times and get your calendar and your wallet ready to take part in these training programs that they offer. In the past they've had um, certificate in mobile app development and certified ethical hacker training. These are just some of the few that I saw that captivated me on their website. Um, but they do have a lot more coming up and if you're interested in learning and taking advantage of these opportunities then definitely check out their website and keep tabs on some of the programs that they're offering.